Well, the best bass anglers in the world are masters of efficiency through the entire angling process. Well, one of those key components of that efficiency is the lure in the zone. And this can mean several things. One, it can mean depth. Are we able to keep that lure at the right depth? You know, and we can fix this by, you know, peeling slack line as the lure comes down a steep bank. Long cast using heavier weights and like a drop shot rig to get that lure down to depth quickly. Um, using a Tokyo rig when we're trying to swim a swim bait at a really deep depth. So those are things that can keep us efficient when we're dealing with depth. But efficiency also means is that lure doing its job the full length of the cast? For example, we've got leaves all over the place. There is debris on top of the water like crazy. Well, if I was gonna try to get a topwater bite going, a buzz bait is gonna be a way better choice than something with treble hooks that are hanging underneath, let's say a walking lure or a whopper plopper. So just that hook upturned on the buzz bait is going to do so much better for us. So that's the type of efficiency that I'm talking about. Are you fishing in an area where you're catching slime or snot grass all the time? I know this happens to me during certain portions of the year. Let's say I've been wanting to fish a jig on the bottom. Well, if I'm wasting 95% of that cast, because as soon as that lure is out there and I'm getting that slime on there, I got to change things up. A perfect example is let's go back to that Tokyo rig I can go ahead and throw it out there and that weight is going to be down there in the slime but it's going to hold the lure just up off of the bottom and make a huge difference in the efficiency of my presentation so if you find yourself you know on the shoreline or on the boat after you retrieve you know picking debris off of your lures or if you feel like you know you're just feeling that lure pendulum down as you're fishing some steeper banks be thinking about efficiency all the time is my lure working for me as much of the time as possible and you're going to start to catch so many more fish but we'll often sit there and just pick slime off a lure after every cast instead of switching to something that's going to present that lure more efficiently and speaking of lures that can work in some tough situations if you want to watch one here on the stupid tube go ahead and check this out and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers